Well, Neil, um, congratulations on the film. It Thank was you. wonderful. Thank and you. I was just wondering, you said that Greta would normally be a romantic thriller between a man and a woman. So what inspired you to change it to a maternal one between two women? Oh, it was the script. No, mm -hmm. it, it was not. I, I didn't write the script. It was written by a, a writer called Ray Wright, who lives mm -hmm. in Hollywood. And it was, um, you know, it was a thriller, a generic thriller. And But there was several fascinating things about it. I suppose one was the handbag. Mm -hmm. The other, and the main thing was the fact that the monster figure, the Bluebeard, you know, which would normally be played by a man, you know, either a demented, you know, kind of misshapen person in sweaty s trainers and a bad hoodie and stuff like that with mummy issues, mm -hmm. or a suave, sophisticated person like. Jeremy Irons or Christopher Weitz or something like that was played by a woman and I thought okay this is really interesting you know because it does two things on the one hand it takes the sexual dimension out of the you know this mm. obsessive relationship and it replaces with with the idea of motherhood you know and loneliness and on the other hand the everything to do with this villainess now can be so much more sophisticated <laughs> you know can have elegance mm -hmm. and kind of intelligence can have can speak French, can play the piano, can make a nice cup of tea, make these strange little cookies, you know? And to me, I thought, okay, a movie that was about motherhood gone so demented that it would uh, mm -hmm. actually confine its ersatz daughter, you know, mm -hmm. and do everything humanly possible to keep this figure within her environment was interesting. Yeah, it's like taking, <laughs> stop growing up, literally. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. Um, another aspect that I found really interesting was the role that law enforcement played, or rather yes. failed to play failed in to the play. story. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, <laughs> was that a conscious choice? Well, this I had to advice. I mean, I, I'm from Ireland, you know, mm. and uh, the Irish police are notoriously inefficient. Mm. <laughs> but I had to take advice on what, what, what a, the New York laws would be, you know, and um, you know, I mean, I researched in so far as I could what how you could stop somebody standing outside of your restaurant or your workplace staring at you. Is that a crime? I'm not sure. Is like bombing somebody with, you know, with phone messages. Right. Why haven't you called me? Why haven't you called me? Why haven't you called me? Is that a crime? I don't think so. Not yet. Maybe mm -hmm. someday it will be. Is leaving, leaving handbags on a subway with your address, is that a crime? Mm -hmm. Perhaps not, you know. It's definitely a crime kind of confining people to a secret room and Right. Yes. Shoving them in boxes, that <laughs> should be definitely crimes, you know, but yeah. everything that led to that mm -hmm. seemed, you know, seemed not entirely criminal, you know. Right. Finally, you said that you wanted to terrify people with beautiful music, and I think that you definitely accomplished that. Well, I tried uh -huh. to, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was all, it was all to do with the, the character of building up the character that Isabel mm -hmm. plays, you know, because she presents herself as French, you know, which is very alluring and seductive in, in itself, you know. But she's actually from some dark wood in Hungary, you know. Now, the great thing in Hungary is this great musical tradition, you mm -hmm. know, from Franz Liszt onwards, you know, and uh, Chopin, of course, is, I think he's Polish, isn't he? But, you know, she, mm -hmm. she had, I mean, she had this musical background mm -hmm. and this European sophistication. And I always wanted to take a piece of classical music that was so well known, almost saccharine in its kind of romanticism mm -hmm. and make it increasingly creepy. Yeah. <laughs> make it something that could be used as a weapon almost, you know, by the central character, which is what we did.